Hey everybody and welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead channel. Uh, let me show you today's topic. We are talking about how to make a small wind turbine for 500 watts and uh, make it like cost efficient. So what do I have here? I have exactly the prepared and gathered assembled already one. Let me tell you shortly about the components. I will of course give you all the links in the description um, so you will be able to check. The generator itself, for me it costs $90 plus some cents, I don't know how much exactly. This hub, hub is this plate, right, with all the connections, with the blades and with the cone, everything all together assembled. I just recently bought it a couple of days ago. Guess the price, $68. 68 that's a great price because right now AliExpress has got some promotions running and well that was the price that I managed to steal this from then what exactly do you need additionally inside there there is a slip ring uh, this is so called well slip ring means that you like you don't have just like the three wires that go 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 out and they may twist at some point but uh, they will eventually have to slip there has to be the slip contact so this slip ring basically allows this to happen and while uh, the price for, there is the 15 amp one, uh, the price for 15 amp, probably 20 amp will be better. Uh, 15 amp cost me somewhere around 7 or 8, I just don't remember how much exactly, but uh, the I will give you the link of course as, as well. But please do your research and find something that is a little bit better for 20 amps or 22 amps if you will find some. That will be just like for um, for for assurance that it will not burn and well i mean the price is like maybe three bucks like more so let's say 10. then this bearing i just went to the local nearest nearest local supermarket and just got it for five dollars that's it i don't think there is a reason to get it in aliexpress for example maybe you will find some i just haven't uh, taken a look uh, for me, that was the easiest way to get to the local supermarket construction one. And well, whatever size, whatever size. It, of course, the price differs on the size a little bit, but this one exactly was five bucks. Uh, what does it have? You see, it has like two connection joints, like this small, uh, small nuts. Let's say, let's call them nuts. They 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 have the cone, uh, the cone, the cone shaped um, ending. And of course, on the pipe, this is the steel pipe, 35 mil uh, in diameter. I had to like drill, but not drill through, but just like to make this small cone uh, hole, so the, the the this these nuts would get into and like fixate it absolutely nicely, so it will stick there steadily and will not move anywhere. Uh, what else? Uh, everything else is leftovers. In my case, a little bit of leftovers from the pipes. Uh, again, just pure steel, uh, nothing specifically. Some screws for the roofing and some leftovers from the roofing. And I just like put some uh, for, from the wire, some some ceiling, just want, like not to damage the other parts. That's it. That's it. As well as for the tail, again, scrapes from the roofing that were left and, 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 and some roofing uh, bolts. That's it nothing specific now please take a look what the size of the tail should look like for this wind turbine for this kind of wind wind wheel this is 165 meters 1.65 meters uh wind wheel in diameter you see how nice uh is the blade bent like very exactly like the book says right and it has a very nice start-up zone, very thick. You see, this is my hand. So this blade will work a lot. It will capture a lot of wind and it will like work really nicely. This is so much better than they supply on those smaller wind turbines uh, on, on the S series, on the S series. This one is, this one is absolutely recommended. Um, despite it's still, it, it, again, it's it, it's plastic. It, it's probably nylon. I don't I don't know what what material exactly. They say nylon. I like I don't trust them. Uh, but um, it it looks really sturdy. Like the thickness is absolutely good. So uh, what else? Uh, so the length, the length of the tail. This is the, exactly the one that should be on for this kind of wind wheel. 
uh, and uh, how to calculate it, what to do this, I will give you the link to the article that explains everything about the tails. I mean, the size of this and the length and how it should be done. So you will check everything. There are just a couple of rules of, uh, rules of thumbs. So uh, you, you will eventually know what to do if you want to do this on your own. And like, let's recalculate the price. 90 plus 10, 100 plus 5, 105 and plus 70, uh, 175. What else? And let's say all this scrap and everything, um, 25 bucks when rounded up to 200. So that's for 200 what you get. Inside you have 26 millimeters of, of uh, steel for the stator and again the rotor thickness is again 26 millimeters and with the magnets of 3 millimeters thick. Uh, I've been opening it, if you are curious, uh, check some other of my videos and you will know what exactly. So this gen I assume to be 500 watt. Of course on the, it, it may pick out even 1 kilowatt and more uh, during the stormy times, but uh, in general you will rather see it run at 3 meters per second probably let's say at 15 20 watts and well the speed of the wind rises and so does the production that's the general rule and, and there is the cubic uh, equation that relates production depending on the wind speed as you may know I uh, use the calculator guys I will send you again I will show you the link what how to calculate and which one to use this is the omni calculator and i like it and that one is probably one of the best calculators for the wind turbine specifically that are on the market existing so 200 bucks what you can do additionally you can just go and get yourself the m3 wind turbine for the same 200 bucks plus or minus um this yet like this is the wheel and hub that I took off from uh, the M3 actually it's it's this one but just because I have this order in that exact same same, same place well, they both will have exactly same wind well and uh, all the I mean all the stuff the, the hub the cone the connections and joints and, and the blades everything everything in one piece uh, so for 200 bucks, so this exact unit cost me, I've been showing you it exactly and since there was a refund process with the AliExpress uh, they returned me 14 bucks for the bent tail, I already restored it and the cashback already arrived and I actually already even spent it so the final cost of this wind turbine for me was 184 which is absolutely crazily low because I mean, if I would go to the factory in China and buy it directly from there, their price is 165, you know, and that's the, the, the one, well, 184 is a perfect price for this. I mean, the delivery, <laughs> customs and everything, you know, like it never costs less than 20 bucks, but this is my case. Like maybe I just got lucky, you know. Uh, you may get it easily for 250 to 70, no issues. Uh, they will claim it to be whatever 2000. You want you want 3000, they will tell you it's 3000 watt wind turbine. You want 4000, they will tell you this one is a 4000 wind turbine. Never ever it's going to produce that amount. It has got basically similar generator inside. Let's call them they are equal. So yeah, I claim it to be 500 watts wind turbine again. Um, and you can get it for let's say 200 250 bucks and the reason uh, the only issue it has it has a too short tail uh, so you have to think you can you can either remove these connections and joints um, two on that side three on the other one and just like move the tail and leave it on on, on a couple of uh, those or just like remove the pipe and insert another one or just cut it and add the junction for connection do whatever you think is appropriate for you it's not a complicated thing to do uh i mean it, this thing is not from this wind turbine it's my interconnection flange so the, so uh th this is where it ends actually so they, they supply all, all these bolts these are like really good m m12 bolts uh stainless steel um and like they they, they will do their job per perfectly so this is something that uh, that also differs this kind of m3 wind turbines from the smaller s series and s series they use the m10 bolts and this one has m12 so this is already a, a mark of a class so it definitely can produce more it definitely can do better 
um so yeah that's basically it for me for you for today i'll also give you the link for the just for the example you have to always always i've been telling you you have to hunt for the price i cannot give you what is the best but believe me if you see five different this kind of looking wind turbines with this kind of hub uh and see them all differing in price from 200 to 400 watts get the one that is 200 um reason is simple they are equal they are exactly the same they are producing exactly the same um i don't know <laughs> in exactly the same looks exact they are packing exactly the same box they, they they are supplied with exactly the same components it's only the sellers that do some nice pictures and and, and some explanations with marketing that like actually makes them thinking that they are worth like more uh, that's not true so get the cheapest uh, i mean get two if you want to spend 400 get two for 200 bucks that's it i mean why would you go and buy one same for for 400 no reason so that's my message for you uh, what can the output in my area i expect the output to be from one up to 15 kilowatt hours per month hey it all depends on the height it all depends on the cable it all depends on the controller and how will you set it up uh, if you'll put it on two meters don't expect much if one kilowatt per month you are getting believe me you are lucky uh, if you have blockage from the for example from the houses from the trees from whatever um, then yes you will also have troubles with production get it a decent height um give it a nice controller not the one the cheap one for 10 12 12 bucks but some nice one for like at least 18 100 and you will see it fly give it a nice thick cable not uh not 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 1.5 square millimeters not 2.5 square mill at least four uh six is better and that will be that'll be flying uh, give it as short distance for the cable as possible like i mean for six meters it will be very way less losses than for 60 meters you know, as you may guess um what else nothing specific i just recommend to use this kind of tool get it somewhere locally or um at aliexpress as well i don't know i don't know the link but just like get this you will need it it will like really ease all the connections and joints and all the and all the work that you do internally so this is all for my message for today so very very soon i will be mounting both of them uh up in the air and we will see what is the real realistic production for them so check and subscribe subscribe if you haven't because you will see how they perform actually and yeah that's it thanks see you bye